Good morning, everyone. We will now discuss our next topic in our subject, creative writing. But first, let us have our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to wake up today, to learn new things, to impart knowledge. in our lesson. So first, we have to recall the types of drama based on the emoticon that is flashed on your screen. What kind of drama? What type of drama is that? Okay? Oh yes, of course, it is comedy or farce because the person's emoticon is laughing. Okay, next. We have that emoticon, sad emoticon, which represents what type of drama? Yes, of course, it is tragedy. And the next emoticon, what does it represent? At first, it has a sad emoticon and then a happy emoticon saying great or good job. Okay, that is what? What type of drama is that? Okay, no, so melodrama. And the last but not the least, your favorite. Anna Jane, it is your favorite Anna Jane. That is romance. Okay. Oh, well, thank you, my dear students. And now let us proceed to our objectives. You will explain what is a one-up play at the end of the lesson and you will be able to appreciate the role of characters' emotions in a play and write the plot structure of your own play. Now, let us first uh, unlock the difficulties. We have this word bank. Okay? We encounter vocabulary words in our daily life so for this lesson we have the plot structure so what is your understanding of plot structure okay so when i say plot you have the from the from the start we have the what oh what we call the it's like an introduction the exposition okay so the exposition what else the rising action Climax, yes, and the dinoma or the resolution part, and of course, the end, not the ending. And what is profiling? When you say profiling, that is what? Okay, so you introduce the characters, including the emotional profile. How does the character react? How does the char character converse with the other characters in the script or play? And then, of course, the playwright. So, when we say the playwright, that is the author of the play. And then, equilibrium. Equilibrium. We need equilibrium in our daily lives in order for us to be able to manage our emotions to overcome our difficulties in life and the last but not the least is the word act also usually we know when i say act uh, for actors and actresses no so what they do it is acting they act but there is another term for that also when i say act that is the episodes in play or in a story so for example in act one okay so you find the introduction of the characters and then the for example the meeting of the main character and her uh, love the love of her life and next uh, act or the act two for example is about the love of her life it's telling the story about the love of her life 
profiling of that uh, person. And then act three is, for example, uh, another scene, a challenge that is being encountered by the lovers. Okay, so that is act. And now that uh, we have already explained and discussed the words, uh, you can already deposit that in your mind or in your bank, memory, in your memory bank. Okay, so now for our new lesson, let us uh, first be uh, watchful or mindful of our emotions. Okay, get in touch with your emotions. Okay, what do you feel? Okay, I have here the following emoticons. Okay, are you feeling in love? Okay. Are you angry? Are you feeling tired and sleepy? Or you are feeling affirming of others' works and achievements? Okay, good job. You can say good job. You're feeling happy and thankful. Okay, so or maybe... You are also feeling resentful. Okay. So, or you're feeling happy. Huh? What are your ways and how to overcome your feelings? Mm -hmm. So, some of you maybe, no? so when you're feeling uh, this negative emotions you know, inside of you sometimes you vent your anger on your uh on your pet <laughs> for example your dog your cat okay sometimes on things you know? so you throw things and then sometimes you vent it out on your siblings you, know? you shout at them okay so but that is of course not uh, the proper way of handling our emotions you know? so have you experienced expressing your feelings through writing well that is one way of expressing our emotions positively okay if you are feeling in love if you are feeling uh, angry if you are sad you write on your diary or you write or you compose a poem you compose a song okay so you write a story okay, that is the creative way on how to release this anger this negative feelings or even the positive feelings inside of us no? now our lesson i told you will help us manage our emotions because first it is about writing you are going to write no, a one act play but first let us uh, try to define what is a one act Play. A one-act play is a play that has only one act, as distinct from plays that occur over several acts. One-act play may consist of one or more scenes. As I told you a while ago, usually the play has act one, act two, act three. But in one-act play, you only have one act. No? So it happens, everything happens from exposition to ending in just one act and you will identify the emotions which are depict, depicted in the script and how the character dealt with his emotions so our activity is here is a sample script okay so let us see what do you think are the emotions that are shown no or displayed by the main character in this story. Oh, that is an excerpt of a sample play. Oh, I hate being old. Okay, so you can visibly see that. Hate, no? So he has hatred in his heart. Next. What is that? I'm too sick and too tired, no? So that is how he feels. Next. 
Oh, that is he's very what? Because he says blasted great. Oh, he's angry. No, oh, he's angry. And here he says he looks pretty and dignified. So he is somewhat uh, shameful. He's ashamed. No, he is ashamed. No, in his uh with her himself I think. there because of that uh, particular line next okay so another expression of his self-pity oh no so he is in pain Okay, so what is happening? Oh, so you see, he's struggling, but he realizes that he realizes that he is in a zoo. That is the end of the story. Oh, so that is an example of a play. Huh? So you see, when you write the script in a play, you are going, okay, you see, when you're going to write a script about a particular uh, event, no, as a play, no, you are going to consider everything, no, so from the beginning, the profiling, okay, you are going to identify what kind of character you're going to show to the readers or to the audience okay and then of course you include in the script even the sounds you know, the, the ranting uh the sounds of the door banging you know? so you include that okay there is a uh, a door there you no know, or the window you close the window it is included in the script so you describe everything every little detail okay as a playwright now you are going to formulate Possible questions that need to be answered or provided by the writer in each part of the plot. So, for example, here we're going to use the thinking hat strategies. The thinking hat strategy. The yellow hat, which represents the first part in the plot structure of a play. So, that is the exposition part. Okay. So the part that sets the scene by introducing the situation and settings and likewise lays out the characters by introducing their environment, characteristics, pursuit, purposes, limitations, potentials, and basic assumptions. No? So you have to expose. That is why it is called exposition because you're going to expose the mind of the world character, especially the main character, how he acts, how he reacts, how he deal, deal with other persons. So what are the goals of this uh, person, of this main character? Okay. So even the physical profile or attributes of this person, you show no, by writing. Okay, you describe him or her. Okay, the thinking hat number two, it's the blue hat. Okay, it represents the second part in the plot structure, which is dun, 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 rising action, the start of the major conflict or problem in the plot. No? So in the first uh, part, as I've said, you're going to formulate the question. So there, you can ask the question, who is the main character? What does he do? As I've told you, no? so you're going to introduce here the profile of or the basic information about the person. So you're going to ask the question, who is this person? What does he do? Okay. And uh, the environment, where does she live? Okay. So the next is the rising action, the conflict. You're going to identify now what particular problem this main character is going to encounter in the story okay the next thinking hat rep the black hat represents the next 
part in the plot structure, which is the climax. So the climax is the peak of the story, which leads to an affirmation, a decision, an action, or even a realization. So this is the point of greatest emotional intensity or interest as well as suspense. So here in the climax, you are going to ask the question, how does the character resolve okay, the problem in the story? Okay, the next part is okay, represented by the green hat. It is the fourth part, which is the denoma or the resolution no, of the plot. It is the finishing of things. So uh, there is already a resolution of the problem. And the last but not the least is, of course, represented by the red hat, is the ending. No? It is the part that brings the story back to its equilibrium, no? its normal balance, no? the, the normal way of things. Okay. That is the plot structure. And here, we ask the question, what is the ending? Or when is it going to end? Huh? Okay. So let us now proceed to our next activity. Our next activity is you are going to... You are going to... Okay, for our next activity... You are going to supply you know, the answers to the questions that we had formulated okay, in the previous activity. So, if you had chosen, you know, and during our motivation part, if you had chosen the emoticon that is happy, then you are going to answer the question in the exposition part. Who is the character? What does she do? Okay, and then... If you have chosen the angry emoticon, you're going to supply the answers in the rising action part. Okay, so what is the conflict or the problem of the story? And then, if you are in a sad uh, group, okay, chose the sad okay, emoticon, then you have to supply or provide the answer for the climax question. You know, where... Uh, you're going to answer a question, how do we resolve you know, the problem? And then, if you are uh, going to, uh, if you, are, you belong to the sleepy group, the tired group, then you're going to answer the questions in the denoma. Okay? And the last, the ending, so you have to provide. What is the ending of the story? What should be the ending? When is it going to end? So that is for the romantic emoticon okay now you are going to be guided by the following rubric so if you if you have a, a complaint about this rubric i have provided you can chat me or you can email me okay so the suggested rubric Suggested rubric, for example, content, 10%. You agree with that? Creativity, 5%. The audience or the reader impact is 5%. And the total is, of course, 20%. Okay, so are you ready to provide answers for that? No. Okay, for two minutes, you're going to think of the answers to those questions. Okay, so time starts now. Okay, so exposition part, the happy group. Okay, you are going to provide the answer. Who is the main character? Who are the other characters? in the play okay so what is uh the physical attributes of that uh, character okay what uh, are his uh, 
favorite maybe no? so you include that okay okay see so you're able to express your emotions in there no? by writing no? so passively we manage our emotions no? now in the following situations that I will give you, how are you going to manage your emotions? First situation, your father punched you when you gave a negative comment on his work. Okay, so how are you going to deal with that? Positively. And then, your mother embarrassed you in front of your friends or your crush okay so what is your reaction to that okay and your crush gave you a bouquet of roses i say yeah no? uh, your crush was your crush i say yeah <laughs> your crush gave you a bouquet of roses so how do you feel about that okay and now the next activity complete me Okay, you have to complete the phrases. This phrase first, a one act play. Okay, number two, I appreciate the role of the character's emotion because. Mm -hmm. And number three, by writing the plot structure of a one act play. Okay. Mm hmm very good now for online modality the evaluation activity can be found in the classwork or of uh, the Google classroom so the answers can only can also be sent there in the G classroom and for modular uh, digital modality you have, you have the learning activity sheet and then you can send it through messenger for printed modular of course the learning activity sheet must be submitted by your parents to the retrieval box. Okay, our evaluation, I, I hope you understood our lesson. So first, you have to read and understand each statement carefully. And then you will draw a happy emoji in the space provided before the number if the statement is correct. If it is incorrect, you draw a sad emoji and place the wrong word or words with the correct ones to make the sentence true okay so here is the first statement a person portrayed in literary work is called character number two the story's time and place is called setting Number three, resolution is the part of the story that reveals the solution and takes care of the conflict. Number four, rising action is the element of plot where the author introduces the characters and setting. Number five, in exposition, the problem or the conflict is introduced. Number six, Rewriting is essential to create believable characters. Number seven, setting can be an antagonist because time and weather can affect the character. Number eight, in a one-act play, there is only time for one significant event. Number nine, your main character plays the most important role in your story. And number 10, the playwright arranges the dramatic action into a cohesive design also. Okay, if you are done, then you can check your work you know, through the key to correction on the last page of your module. And the or assignment is to create dialogues for the characters that fits their emotional profile okay so we let us now have our closing prayer 
In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the lessons that we have learned today. We ask you, Lord, to bless our minds, our hearts, in order for us to be able to impart the things that we have learned to other people. And so, we have a good morning. In the name of Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen.